our first senior is Kathy Joy. One me out here. And she's being escorted by Hannah Tofo. Hi, my name is Kathy Joy Bunviaje, and I am a senior manager for Sioux High's girls basketball team. Even before I began managing, I would always be thrilled to go to a home basketball game. Being a former basketball player, I understood the game on a level much higher than any other sport. Even though I didn't exactly love to play, I loved to watch. When Huckabee offered the managing position, I was thrilled and met plenty of people I will never forget. Even though the job involved a lot of time and effort, I don't regret a single moment of it. Even though I'm not a player, I always felt a part of a team. Special thanks to Huckabee and all my girls. See you in adulthood. Bye. Next we have AC Flutta. Good evening, friends and family. I am Adrian A. See, that just shows how much I'm used to being called AC Flauta. <laughs> I've been waiting for this for four years now, and it's finally here. It seems like yesterday I was back in elementary school getting used to the game of basketball at Jackie Robinson YMCA which is sell. When we got too old to play there, we got invited to play over here at Sweetwater. We went on to play on the Lady Devils basketball club team. Then, when we also got too old for that, since it was time for us to start high school, we decided that instead of going to a school much closer to us, we would go to Sweetwater. Who knew it was going to be the greatest decision ever in the way that it created an amazing chapter in my life? Since then, playing basketball was something to do for fun. It wasn't until getting moved up to varsity my sophomore year that it turned to, into something much more. I rode the bench that year, and I was very unhappy because I felt like I was wasting my time. Junior year rolled around, and I knew that if I wanted things to change, I needed to work hard to show that I deserved the playing time. It was that moment that motivated me to improve. In that process, I found my real joy for basketball. It was the way it showed me how mentally and physically strong I was, that I was much more capable than I knew, and that deep down, there was a bit of me that had leadership inside of me. I also gained memorable moments like seeing my name in the newspaper, the wins that we worked really hard for, and the crazy nights in the hotel rooms during our tournaments, endless laughter during practices that we would end up running for getting in trouble for the things that we would do at my house, and so much more. I'd like to thank the people that taught me all that I know about basketball. Coach Terry, Coach Dula, Coach Patty, Coach Asima, Coach Fred, and most importantly, Coach Huckby for being the second mom to me all these years. And i also like to thank all the people that supported me and the team through all our wins and losses throughout my basketball career my friends, the bros, Glenn, and most importantly, my biggest number one fans, my family, my mom, my sister, my kuya, my grandma, my grandpa, my dog, Yoda, <laughs> and dad, I didn't forget you, daddy. I love you so much. I am the player you have pushed me to be because of you. Till it's before game day, you were and your day before mental preps before game days, you were always there through it all. You believed me in, in all that I could do. And without you, a lot of what I've achieved wouldn't happen if it wasn't for you. To the underclassmen, I have to tell you, you need to work hard because hard work can take you a long way. So I'm telling you now, don't put it off until your varsity year because you think that's when it's your time to shine. These years go by real quick. Sooner or later, you'll be wondering where the years go and you'll be right here in my feet. I'm gonna miss all you guys. 
I love you so much. Is Kelly Duran. And she's in high school for a little bit with her friends Angelina Talamante and Karen Mercado. My name is Kelly Glenn and I am one of the seniors on this year's girls varsity basketball team. My journey as a Lady Devil began when I was in PE and Coach Huckabee was looking for girls to play for the freshman team. Back then, it would have never occurred to me that basketball would have impacted my life the way it did. But ever since, it is the best decision I have ever made. Not only have I improved as a ball player, but I have improved in the classroom and by far a better person. What I love most about basketball is that it was my, it's my getaway. If I had a problem, it would all disappear once I stepped onto the court. My role models are the 2011 seniors who inspire me to, to improve every time I see them play. The best memorable moments were the trips we would take to LA and we would have our confession nights, but I won't go into details about that. For the underclassmen, work hard every chance you get and respect your coaches because we really are blessed with amazing coaches who take time out of their day to teach us the game we love. Finally, I just want to give all my thanks. I want to thank my mom who supported me and dealt with my attitude after tough loses. Coach Medina for her words of wisdom to never let my emotions take me out of a game. Coach Fred who pushed me beyond my limits and taught me to never give up, no matter how challenging it may be. Coach Huckabee who taught me the mindset and the skills of a varsity player. And finally God who I turned to when things seemed impossible. Thanks again to everyone who came out and supported us. Ida Perez, and she's being escorted by Evan Charles Escalator. Good evening, everyone. I am Aida Perez, one of your basketball managers. This basketball season was an honor participating as manager for girls varsity basketball. I had the chance to bond with each and every player on the team. By the way, they are awesome athletes. Now to my senior girls, whose tonight is your night. Tonight is the last home game at Sweetwater High. The day is finally here. Sad, but I'm truly proud of you all. One of the most memorable moments with all you guys was the LA tournament. I had so much fun. That was just an opportunity for me to get closer to you guys. I will miss you girls. I will miss being manager. Coach Huckabee, you're a great coach. All that yelling is worth it at the end. I remember the first practice I went to, I got yelled at by you. I didn't even do anything. I thought to myself, well, this is going to be an interesting season. <laughs> I managed to get used to it. We all know that you did it because you love our team. It was also fun to have other managers like Marilyn, Evan, and Kathy. I miss you so much. Now to my underclassmen, how can I forget you guys? You guys still have next year and then year after. Mijas, always go hard or go home. Never give up on your sport you are most passionate about. I love you all. Ball is life. Our next senior is Giselle Ramirez. Good evening everyone, my name is Giselle Ramirez and I'm one of your seniors for this year's varsity team. I started playing basketball in the 5th grade at Jackie Robinson YMCA and moved to the Little Devils in the 7th. I didn't expect this sport to take me where I am today. Basketball has brought me out of my shell and shown me a new love for the game and the people who play it. It's given me confidence in myself and a love for three-pointers. This sport not only has given me teammates, but a family that I can always count on. A group of sisters that are a pain in the butt, but I'll love no matter what. The people who inspire me the most are my parents and Stephen Curry, all three individuals I love and admire the most. There are memorable moments I've had with this team, but one I cherish the most was during my sophomore year when I scored 22 points against Southwest. That had to be the highlight of my high school career. To the underclassmen, I'd like to say I love you guys and I'm gonna miss you when I'm gone. I'm glad I got closer to you guys this year, and I wish that you guys would cherish every moment with each other and on the court, because time flies by. No matter how much you want to give up or get tired, remember the reason why you love this sport in the first place. Even though Huckabee may irritate you, just remember if she isn't yelling at you, then there's a problem. You'll never play with the same people every year, so make every moment the best. The people I'd like to thank is my family, because you guys have supported me through everything, and I love you guys so much. To the people who supported me ever since my freshman year, thanks to Emily, Elaine, and Sergio Mar for always reminding me to keep my head up. To Coach Fred, I've never met a man who refuses an apology, 
And for that, since I'm a senior now, I'm sorry for all the times I've said I'm sorry. I'll fix it, coach. And no, I'm not going to run a lap for that. Coach Patty, I'd like to thank you for introducing me to conditioning that's actually fun and always giving me the extra confidence boost when I needed it. You never gave up on me when I've given up on myself. Your positive words and guidance helped me through all my years. Thank you for always being there to listen, coach. I love you. Goddess Huckabee, I'm probably the only one who called you that today. I've known you for most of my childhood and being here now makes me feel so old. I'd like to thank you for being my second mother and giving me the opportunity to play for this program. Thank you for everything, coach. I'll always be the pain in the butt. Last but not least is I'd like to thank God because all of this is his work, not mine. And I know he has bigger plans for me after high school. Thank you, everyone. Next, we have May May Reyes. Yeah. She's been escorted by her mother, Renette Nicole, Coach Fred Von Husen, Kaylin and Renzo Marzello, and Jarrell and Kayla Hardgrove. Good evening, everyone. My name is Leo Loja May Reyes, but everyone here knows me as just May. I started playing basketball in the ninth grade. Basketball has taught me more than just trying to put the big orange ball in the big orange hole, as Huckabee says. It taught me discipline, responsibility, and perseverance. Basketball has been an impact in my high school career that helped me grow to become a better person. There's never a dull moment with this team, so it'd be safe to say every day with them was a great one. Especially the sleepovers and trips we had, trying to contain our laughter before we woke Huckabee up. But to my underclassmen, my advice for you is to keep pushing and go at it with all you have because senior year will come by quick and it'll all become memories. Cherished, of course, but make the best out of it and try not giving Huckabee as much of a hard time. Oh, and keep your grades up too. Basketball is a privilege, but don't let anyone or anything deprive you of it. Good luck, and I love you, Angel, Bree, Naomi, Idena, and Nicole. I'd like to thank my family for being such great support. I know most of my time was spent in this gym, and as it sometimes interfered with family time, basketball always won. But thank you for being behind me all the way. Thank you to my friends who always kept my head up when all I wanted to do was just give up, especially Emily. Your ed endless advice has pushed me to keep going and playing all the way through. I'd like to thank our amazing managers, Aida, Evan, Marilyn, and Kathy. Thank you for everything you've done for us. Whether you'd be pushing us around with Bertha, getting our waters, or keeping score, we appreciate it all. I'd like to thank Coach Huckabee, AKA Ellen, for putting up with us, even if we can be a bit hard-headed sometimes. You always tell us where your pain's in the butt, but you can, but you still turn out to be this great coach. I've learned a lot from you, and I appreciate having the chance to play for you this year. Thank, thank you for all you've done. But I think even after I graduate, baseline will still be a scary word. To Coach Fred, I played for you for three years out of my basketball career. Your tough love really shaped me into becoming a better player. Anyone could vouch for me when I say playing for you wasn't all that easy, but it only made me better. I always came back because I knew you believed in me. Thank you for pushing me further than I thought I could go. Your guidance and coaching impacted me in so many ways. Thank you, Coach Fred. I'd like to thank my teammates for being such amazing young ladies, whether it be helping me learn something new on the court or having me laugh so hard we all had to run for it. Sorry. But you all made these four years the best. I couldn't ask for any other group of girls to play with. They helped me grow to love the game and became like sisters to me. This is my second family and I love them dearly. I thank God for blessing me with such amazing support, teammates, and coaches. They all have been placed in my life in different aspects to help me grow not only as a player, but as a person as well. Thank you for the support. I love you all. Our next senior is Nayeli Sanchez. <laughs> and she's been escorted by her mother, Cecilia Cuthro, her father, Tony Sanchez, stepfather, Nero Cuthro, and her brothers, Tony Sanchez and Carlos Cuthro, and her sister, Angelina Cuthro. Hello, everyone. I'm Nayeli Sanchez, but everyone on the court knows me as Nay. I would like to start off with what got me started in the sport. What got me started playing basketball was my aunt, Coach Osuna. She played in high school and then started coaching, and I used to go with her to her practices as a little girl, and I fell in love with the sport. Then in fourth grade, I started playing for the best coach ever, Coach Huckabee. I improved in my shot and my ball handling, but most, import but most importantly, I have improved on my attitude, and my team has helped me with that. The thing I like the most about playing basketball is the girls I play with. 
They make the experience fun and I never traded them for any other team in the world. They have been my second family since middle school and I'm going to truly miss them. My role models have always been the girls older than me when I was an underclassman. The girls like April, Jessica, Lucy, JJ, and A-Rod, they all still play in college and I hope I get to play in college like them. The advice I would give the underclassmen would be not to wait for your senior year to show what you got. Leave it out on the floor every year. I would like to thank my mom and my grandpa and my brothers for making it to every game and I'd like to thank the rest of my family to making it to the ones they could make it to. I would also like to thank my best friends Alex and Letty for making it to the ones they could and my main cheerleader Alexis for cheering me on. I also want to thank my boyfriend Michael for going to all my home games and being there for me through a tough loss. I would also like to thank a coach who I started off with, Coach Patty. She used to be scary to me and I wouldn't want to go to practices, but she taught me my basic skills and she taught me how to be a tough and she taught me how to be a tough player. Thanks Coach Patty. And last of all, I would like to thank Coach Huckabee for putting up with me for all eight years. And also for dealing with my horrible attitude. You're the best coach ever and you're a goddess. And I'm gonna miss you coaching me. Thank you all for coming to senior night. Let's get it seniors. Hi everyone, my name is Hannah Tolfo and I'm one of the seniors from this year's varsity team. I started playing basketball back when I was in 8th grade. I wanted to be involved in school, I wanted to stay active and find a hobby, so I decided to join a sport. I was a bit anxious and intimidated at first, but little did I know that it would be one of the best choices I've ever made, mainly because playing basketball became a passion and I've made so many friends that I can call my family and fun memories that I will treasure. From my very first practice to now, I can say that I improved because I can finally do layups, play defense, and even do half-court shots. What I like best about playing basketball is that not only does it make you fit and helps you get out of class early during game days, it also motivates you to push yourself to become better and it's a fun sport to play. One of the people who have helped and encouraged me during practices and games would be Adana Rosario. She's always been there to give me advice and she encourages me to keep my head up during tough times and I'll miss her once season ends just like everybody else, of course, because I have no one to pretend I'm breaking ankles with during practice. I'll always remember the random moments, eating out before practices and games, the selfie Olympics, the dunk cams with Naeli, and many more because putting four years of playing basketball is hard because every moment has been memorable. From our unforgettable Vegas and LA trips to our upbeat pre-games, I can honestly say that our team is pretty unique and I love them. My advice to the underclassmen is to always have fun and enjoy every single moment of playing basketball because the next thing you know, you're already recording your speech for senior night. Take every chance and don't be afraid to try anything new because you only get this chance of playing with amazing teammates in high school once. Cherish every little moment and enjoy it while it lasts. Finally, I'd like to thank my teammates for making this year filled with laughter and adventure and I'll miss you guys when I'm gone. I would also like to thank Coach Huckabee for being an awesome coach and for giving me the privilege to play basketball and also to Coach Fred for providing me a foundation when I started playing and for teaching me so much about the game. Lastly, I'd like to thank my family for supporting and believing in me from the very beginning. Through the ups and downs, it's been a pleasure and a great experience to play basketball throughout my high school career, and this will always be an unforgettable chapter in my life. Good evening everyone, my name is Marilyn and I am one of the senior managers. To start off, I can't believe I pulled through four amazing years with this welcoming and loving team. I owe it all to Nayeli and Coach Asuna. Nayeli, thanks for asking me to be your manager for JV freshman year. And to Coach Asuna, thanks for training me to do the book the right way and yelling out stats for me during the varsity games. To the goddess, ah yes, Coach Huckabee. Thank you for recruiting me to be your right hand man. For the past four years, I would like to thank you for seeing the potential in me and helping me in my academics. You truly play a grand part in my high school years. My most memorable moment, ugh, which one? Probably the one where the players would ask, Hey Marilyn, are you going to be our manager this year? 
Also, when Huckabee was being herself around me and I got scared a bit. But after that, I couldn't help but mess with her. To anyone who wants to be a manager, I would say, be a manager to this team. They are so funny, and they grow on you. And don't feel bad if Huck yells at you. Don't take it personal. She's just in game mode. She'll apologize after. I have to thank my mom for allowing me to ride with these girls for my entire high school career. I would like to thank the players for being considerate, funny, welcoming, and amazing. I'd like to thank Coach Osuna and the Sanchez Guthrow family. Thank you to Ms. Perez for understanding why I could not sell concessions. And finally, a giant thank you to the goddess of this team, Coach Huckabee. Goodbye official scoring and congratulations seniors.